So what I have here is my jammers case. Um, a few months ago, I think in August, I did a side A of this case. Now I'm doing side B. Not sure how many cars there are, but we're going to begin with the first slot. It's four slots. Um, they're various cars. They might be matchboxes, Maestos, Hot Wheels, or some other brands. But let's see, this one's a Mini Cooper. Um, I think I bought this new at like Walgreens, so it might be a Maestel or another brand of some kind. It doesn't have the brand name, I don't think. It just says um, 2001 Mini Cooper and made in China. Okay, next car, um, I think this is a Radio Flyer Wagon. Yeah, that's what it says on the base. I believe I bought this new at a grocery store. And I had a lot of these when I was a kid, though. So they might have uh, damage from play. You can see there's a lot of chipping right here. And uh, it's metal with a lot of plastic parts like the, the handle, the seat, and this engine part. The base is metal and this uh, wagon part is also metal. Next one I have, I'm not really sure what this one is. It's a matchbox. Um, let's see. It says... It says 1979. It says Model A Ford. So I think this is the old matchbox from the... Before Mattel bought them out. Plastic base, metal body. And I uh, may have found this in a garage sale when I was little. That's where my parents bought a lot of my uh, cars from. Next one, I think this one's a Porsche. Um, it was made for a track series. I believe I got this on, on uh, as a track set from uh, Christmas for Christmas. Um, the gimmick on this was that it would go on a track, and, and when it went down the track, it would make a a loud noise because it had these little uh, tires right here that would clack. I don't know if I get it'll make a noise like this. Let's see if I can do it with the camera right here. So it sounded like it was revving or something. Okay, the next thing I have I'll let, let's take a better look. It has like glitter paint and I, I did a, uh, a a custom job and that's Kind of the reason why I did the glitter because some of these older cars and this is metal on metal. Next one I have, I think this one's called Dogfighter. It's like a, a, a plane or something like that. It's got a plastic base, a moving propeller here, and uh, this one I had as a kid. I think I got this new. Um, this was one of my favorites. Yeah, I think it says Dogfighter on the base here. Okay, next thing I have is a bug. I'm not sh sure. This might be called a Baja bug or something with that little piece there. But it's a metal casting. Okay, now I'm going to go... I'll set those aside for now. Next slot I have is this Turboa. One of my favorites as a kid. Um, not sure where I got it, but I'm pretty sure it was used. I think they still make this. I think I saw it in a multi-pack recently. But it's pretty much a snake wrapped around a, uh, a engine block. I think it was how it was described as online. I have two of these, but I'll show the other one in a bit. Metal on metal, and this uh, engine part is plastic. Next thing I have is a limousine. I, I'm pretty sure I got this used. There's a discoloration here. I think this would be chrome. So a lot of times I see stuff that this kind of chrome gets black over time. I don't know how that happens though. It's pretty nice. I have another one in this case. Okay.
Okay, the next thing I have, um, this is probably one of my favorites. It's a Yacht Ming. I think it's a Corvette. Not sure, not exactly sure, but it looks like it could be from maybe the 60s or something. It's a metal base, metal body. It's all metal. And the doors on both sides actually open. So that's why it was my favorite. Okay, next thing I have, let's see which one. Not exactly sure what this is, but it was a Happy Meal toy. I had a whole bunch of these as a kid. I think I have another one of a different color. Pretty nice. I think it was a hot red, and I may have found one in a parking lot when I was little. I think I had about three of them, and I sold them on the yard sale a long time ago. Okay, next thing I have, um, let's see, I think this might be called some. um, uh, it says Old Number 5. I think they have an updated version called Old Number 5 and a Half. I believe I showed that one in the video, but this one I think I got from a second hand shop. I think they used to write the prices on it, but it's pretty much all metal, except some of the few plastic parts. Um, engine's metal, the headlights are plastic. This part's plastic, this part... I think this is missing a lot of pieces, though. And it's probably been stepped on or something, because it's a little bent, too. Okay, the next thing I have... I think this is a Mustang, I'm not sure, because when I was a kid, they... You know, some castings did have their name, and some kids didn't, but... You know, when I was a kid, I didn't really know what it was, so... Just pretty much a car, but... As an adult, you're able, or at least nowadays, you can look on the internet and describe it and find the exact car. But I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Mustang. I think this came out of that same. This may have came out of the same track set. I got both of these as a kid, and they were from a, a track set that I got for Christmas. It was, it had a C clamp, so you would clamp it on a chair or something, and it'll coast down. So it was like a downhill track. And it has that same clicky clacky motion. You know, like that, that revving motion to me. But it's metal on metal. Um, it's convertible. The windshield, I think, broke off over time. Still in pretty good condition, I guess. And it has the opening hood feature, which is nice. I don't think they do that anymore. I think I have a, a newer version from 2014 or so that came in a five pack, and that didn't have that feature. I don't think. Okay, next thing I have um, is a race car, NASCAR from. I think I got this from a uh, cereal box. Golden Grams, it says. Not sure if it can, if it had to come out of that or any other General Mills. I'm not sure who the driver is. It's kind of hard to read their names. Maybe Richard Petty. Okay, next thing I have. Um, I may have bought this when I was older, but I'm not 100% sure. It's an Enzo Ferrari in yellow. Maybe around 2004. I'm not 100% sure of that. But I may have been still in high school when I bought this. Because I collected some around that time. Okay, next thing I have. I think this is from a... It had a trailer or something, but I never had the whole thing. But all I have was this, uh, let's see, it's called a watercraft with trailer. And there's no trailer, so it's just a uh, watercraft. It's pretty much metal with, you know, plastic top parts here. But the base is uh, metal. It's a matchbox, too. Okay, next car I have them. I can't remember what this was, but I always liked it. Um, it came from McDonald's. I think I have two of these. Pretty nice. It's always reminded me of like a soapbox or something. But I think it's metal on metal, which is pretty cool. Nowadays, it's metal on plastic. Okay, that's it on that slot. Next slot I got. Uh, this is a PT Cruiser. Um, I believe I bought this new at Walgreens a long time ago when I... When I saw these first come out, I kind of liked them, so I bought a miniature version of it. So 
So it's in good condition. I may have bought this when I was a lot older. So I didn't play with them as much. The next thing I have, I think this one I bought as a kid on a yard sale and it was brand new. Um, it's been played with a lot. I think there's some missing parts and this is actually falling off. Um, I think it's Racing Champs and it has an opening hood. See the engine inside? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not sure those clamps. Okay. As you can see, parts of it falling off. It's all metal. I think these wheels might be rubber or maybe some kind of rubbery plastic. And part of the uh, chrome fender broke off. Other than that, it's still nice. Next thing I have is called the Teetotaler. Not sure what year it's from. But I have a red one and a black one. I believe I got this used. Yeah, I think this was in the same shape as when I got it. Next one I have, let's see. I think this one's a Hot Wheels. Let's see what it's called. A... Uh, Ferrari 4, let me take it out of the camera view, I think it says 430 Spider. This may have been when I was uh, older, like maybe older than 10. I'm pretty sure I bought this one new. And it's metal body plastic case. Next one I have um, it's called the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. I think it's mostly uh, plastic. I think the wiener part is plastic and this top bun part is uh, metal and this is plastic. Not sure when this came out. I think there was a chrome version. That would be the one I would like to get because it looked cool. I think my mom bought one for my brother and me. I believe it was from a yard sale. Okay, next thing I have, um, I'm pretty sure I got this new. It says uh, 68 Mustang, but I think it was a tweaked version, so it looks, it may have been tuned or something like that. Because it has all these big engine parts. I think I bought this when I was a little older, too. So I didn't play with it that much. Metal uh, body with a plastic base. Okay, the next thing I have, um, let's see if I can find the name on here. If there isn't, it says it's called Attitude, and I believe I got this from Walgreens new at one at some point. It's a metal body with a plastic base. Plastic spoiler. Okay, next thing I have, um, I think it's called the Celine S7. I believe this was one I purchased when I was older. And it was new when I got it. Nice blue color, too. Okay, the last slot I got here, we'll start off with this one. It's another limousine. It's gold, gold body, which is metal, with a gold chrome base. I, li I always like the white wall tires on this. And it has that little uh, sunroof like the last one. Okay, the next thing I have, I think this might be a Dodge Charger of some kind. I'm not sure. It doesn't have a name, but it was always in my collection. I, I think I liked it when I was a kid. It's in pretty good condition. And it feels kind of cheap, so it might be like a dollar store or a stocking stuffer brand. 
you know, the, what the grocery stores sell so you can buy something for the kids or whatever. Next thing I have is a Pikes Peak Tacoma. Pretty good condition. I'm not sure if I bought this new or, or something. I think when I was around uh, maybe 12 or 14, I started putting all these cars in in this uh, jammer's uh, case because I, you know, because I used to store the other one in the basement. I had a uh, a big tub. It was like a Rubbermaid tub, and that's where I stored all my Hot Wheels. So I decided to one day put all my favorite ones in a case like this. That way I can look at them. And this was always under my bed. And the other one I couldn't fit in my room that easily. Um, this is a Ford uh, truck. I don't know if it's a delivery truck or a delivery van. It says Ford on it though. I don't think it said anything what it is. But it's metal on metal. Um, this footboard area, whatever you want to call it, fender area, is plastic. It's missing a headlight. Don't get pulled over there. Other than that, it's pretty in good condition. Next thing I have, I don't know if I accidentally put this in here, but it's a, uh, I think this is a 2015 Cockney Cab 2. Yeah, I must have put it in here because I had uh, extra space or something. So that one's in pretty good condition. Um, let's see, next one I have, um, let's see what it's called first. Model A Ford. I don't know if it's the same thing as this. Yeah, these are both Model A Fords. But this one looks like it, you know, like a real Model A would look like maybe. It's got both headlights on it. The paint is a little worn some spots. I think my camera might exaggerate the color some. I'm using my uh, phone that has a better camera than the one I've been using. But this is pretty nice. Okay, the next thing I have I think is another McDonald's car. It's metal with a plastic base. It's from 1999. I think all the McDonald's cars, the year they had printed on there was the year it came out. So, I'm not sure if Hot Wheels ever made this in their lineup. I think I got this as a Happy Meal though. Sometimes I might get them as a, you know, on a yard sale or in a second hand shop. This was probably one of my favorites as well as a kid. Okay, next thing I have, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It could be some kind of fancy car, I don't know if it's a Bugatti or something. I'd probably have to look it up. It's nice white wall tires, metal body with metal base. I think that's even the metal as well. But it was always pretty nice, so that's why I put it in this collection. I was hoping to get like a Lazy Susan or something, that way I can uh, put the camera on the table and then, uh, you know, just rotate the little uh, platform. So my fingers won't be in the way as much. But I have to look into getting one. But this is pretty nice. Um, let's see. This one I believe I bought new. I think I had a. Uh, I was able to buy another one by, on a like a, a flea market. But I decided not to get it because I already had it. Um, not exactly sure on the name, but I think this, these cars are used on a course called a figure eight racing or something. Let's see. Uh, it's called. Slide out or something like that. Slide out? Yeah, slide out. Uh, metal body with a plastic base. And as you saw, this little, uh, I don't know if it's called a spoiler or something, comes off. I always have it disconnected. I th think I put it in here because it would always fall off in my uh, regular collection and, you know, instead of losing it and damaging it, I thought I'd keep it in this case. Pretty nice. I think I remember buying it new. Okay, next thing, I think I may have gotten this on the yard sale, but it may have been when I was older. Um, it's a Hummer H2. I 
think it may have been in a series called Bling, so it was distorted in, a, in some kind of way. So I don't think this is how it would look in real life. Metal body with a plastic base. Okay. The last few here, we'll start off with this one. It's, it's called a, uh, a Volkswagen Bug or Beetle. I believe I got this at Walgreens brand new. I think I had a, a Beetle face, so I, I used to collect a lot of the Beetle cars. Um, this might be a old, based on an older car. This might be based on a 50s or something. But it's a pretty nice car. Okay, next thing I have, I think I have another set of this, but I had, um, this is my original one I had. It's a Kellogg's Corn Pops truck. Um, let's see, not sure exactly what the model is. We'll read it. It's a 1921 Model T Ford. I believe you had to get this out of a cereal box. I may have bought this one on the yard sale. It's this whole part right here is all metal. The roof, the the cab part, but the base is plastic, and this is plastic as well. It's missing the headlight. Okay, only two cars left. This you could get this the same way as this one out of a cereal box. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. I have a newer one of this, in, or not newer, it was just in better condition. It's a Fo Model A Ford. Uh, mostly metal, I think, I'm not sure, I think the base is plastic. These running boards here, whatever you want to call them, are metal. But the roof is plastic, I don't know if it pops off at all. I think I may have had one that had a roof popped off, not sure. Last car I got is called the Turboa. Um, this is the first one I had, and then I bought the purple one later on. Um, metal on metal. Like I said, it's a snake wrapped around a, a engine block. Um, I think the engine is also plastic. It's chrome with a chrome seat. Pretty nice car. Not exactly sure why I bought this, but probably a second hand shop. But that's it on this jammer's case. Um, there were only two sides. This was side B. Um, I probably will do another segment where I'll show some of my older cars. But this, these are all the ones I had in this, uh, in this case. So um, until next time, signing off.